After completing dozens of dungeons in Elden Ring, the Ariza side tomb is easily the most confusing one I've come across so far. The main reason being there's several transporter traps disguised as chests scattered throughout the entire catacombs. When interacted with, these chests teleport you back and forth between different areas of what you initially think is the same dungeon, when in fact there's two separate dungeons which look similar, but with subtle differences hiding bonus items. We'll call these two instances Dungeon A and Dungeon B. The solution to the puzzle is to figure out which version of the dungeon you're actually in at any one time. You can then identify any changes to the layout and fully explore those changes for each version to reveal any hidden items. Did you get all that? No! Good, then let's continue. All key items you'll acquire by following this walkthrough, which do not respawn, are as follows. 2 times level 5 Grave Glove Warts 4 times level 6 Grave Glove Warts 1 level 6 Ghost Glove Wart The Perfumer's Cookbook level 3 4 Cracked Pots 2 Ritual Pots 1 level 7 Golden Rune And finally, the Soul Jars of Fortune Spirit Summon Ashes If you manage to defeat the Grave Warden Dungeon Boss to reach the Ariza Side Tomb Dungeon from the Outer Wall Battleground site of Grace, head southeast in the direction of the site's rays, and simply run past all enemies en route following the path shown here. Upon entering, you start off in version A of the dungeon. After activating the Site of Grace, head down the steps toward the locked dungeon boss doors. Then head down the steps to the right, leading into a room full of explosive soul jars. Sprint past them all and quickly pick up a Grave Glovewort 6 on the way. Sprint down the steps directly ahead and follow the tunnel left, leading into a room with the first transporter chest of the dungeon. When you come out the other end, you're still in version A of the dungeon. Head down the steps directly ahead and drop down off the ledge. Do a 180 to pick up a second Grave Glove Wart 6 tucked in the corner under the stairs. But beware of the fanged imp lurking in the shadows which deal the blood loss status effect with each attack. After dealing with another two fanged imps on the other side of the room which drop down from the archway ceiling, pick up a Grave Glove Wart 5 by the southern exit. Then head down the narrow stairway which leads into a lightly flooded room with a large locked cell. Take the exit to the right to enter the carpeted chapel room where several hidden imps will attack on sight. Once all threats have been neutralised, head up the steps at the end and interact with the transporter trap along the western wall. This will teleport you inside the large locked cell you just passed, which is still within version A of the dungeon. Inside the cell, you'll encounter two large soul jars guarding three useful items. After taking down the soul jars, pick up the Perfumer's Cookbook 3, which gives you the recipe for the defensive tool named Iron Jar Aromatic, as well as two cracked pots located in the corners of the room. Exit the cell by going back through the transporter chest from which you entered, taking you back out to the chapel room. Head back down the steps, and to the right, you'll notice an alcove with an illusory wall. Hit the wall to reveal a set of steps leading down into a room with another transporter chest. Pick up a second Grave Glove Wart 5 at the bottom but stay vigilant, as two small explosive soul jars will home in on your position as you near the chest. Once they're taken care of, interact with the chest, which teleports you for the very first time to version B of the dungeon, specifically onto the walkway above the archways of the chapel room. After killing the fanged imp on the ledge and picking up the Golden Rune 7 from the corpse, head north through the archway to kill another imp with its back turned, unaware of your presence. Then head up the stairs to the left which leads out onto another ledge where a further two imps await, one of which will surprise attack you from above. 
Once both imps are down, drop down off the ledge to the lower floor. Then head under the stairs to pick up a third grave glovewort 6 tucked in the corner. Beware of the hidden imp lurking in the shadows, which is identical to version A of the dungeon. Now head up the stairway to the right and head through the tunnel leading north. Head up another set of stairs which lead into a dead end room with a large soldier who comes alive as you get close. A smaller explosive soldier is hidden around the corner to the right. After defeating both jars, pick up a ritual pot in the middle of the room. Exit the room, heading back down the stairs where you entered and head all the way back through the flooded room with a large cell to return to the chapel room. Head back down the steps to the left which was previously hidden by an illusory wall and go back through the transporter chest at the bottom. This takes you back to the walkway above the archways of the chapel room but this time you're back in version A of the dungeon. Continue forward through the archway and head up the steps to the left leading to a long ladder. Climb the ladder all the way to the top which takes you to a room with another transporter chest. This teleports you to the starting area for dungeon B which unlike version A can only be entered via teleportation. Follow the path around the corner and up the stairs heading in an easterly direction. In the next room continue around the centre stone pillar and climb some more steps which take you into a dead end room at the top. Be wary of a large soldier hiding around the left corner. After smashing the soldier into tiny pieces, pick up a second ritual pot along the eastern wall, as well as a smithing stone 5 by a corpse in the corner. Exit the room heading back down the stairs where you entered, and in the room with the large stone pillar, jump out of the window in an alcove along the southern wall. Once again, head all the way back through the flooded room and return to the chapel room, but this time interact with the transporter chest up the steps at the end of the hallway. This teleports you back into the large locked cell, but this time within version B of the dungeon. After dealing with the two small but highly explosive soul jars, pick up a ghost glovewort 6 in front of the wooden ladder, as well as another two cracked pots in each corner of the room, identical to dungeon A. Now climb up the long ladder all the way to the top, which takes you back to a walkway in version A of the dungeon, where you can pick up a fourth grave glovewort 6. The lever by the statue opens the locked dungeon boss doors, located at the very start of the catacombs. To get back there, simply jump down off the ledge and head up the two sets of stairs heading east. Then enter the transporter chest in the room at the top, which takes you back to the dungeon's site of grace, where you can face off with the Grave Warden Duelist dungeon boss. If you manage to defeat him, you'll be rewarded with the Soul Jars of Fortune Spirit Summon Ashes. 